Swole Benji here. Let me show you how to heal arenas, okay? This is super on the cheap. A brand new player could do this. Now, you don't need the Limhurst Cape or the Omelette. It just helps. It also helps people get off your back. If you're uh, if you're just weak-willed and people talking crap about the Great Nature you know, build, you can use this one, okay? You go Holy Staff. You go all the first things. Just all the first things down the line. That's Greater Heal. That's Sacred Pulse. That's Desperate Prayer. Okay, you got your Druid Robe. You just press R. You get Obsessive Burst Stacks. That helps you heal. You got Graveheart Guard Helmet. You click on someone and then you use this and you heal them. And then Scholar Sandals so that you don't get stunned and you get your mana back. So all you gotta do is just click on people and press Q to heal them. That's pretty much it. So. And then press R. You're gonna increase your damage every single time. Or your healing every single time that you cast a spell. I'm gonna hit Pulse. Knock that guy back. And you see the little squares on people's health. Well, on my health now. I'm gonna use it on myself here. Knock them back. And our team's not doing so good. This guy's not even retreating. Now, you see these squares above your health? Once they drop below two squares, that would be... Like this guy that's dying to death curse right now. So I just saved his life. He can thank me later. And I'm gonna use my D. And look how much that healed that dude. It made me pretty weak. It also makes me a focus target, but it's fine. Anyway, so the squares are a percentage of your life. And my team, this is why I tell everyone in my videos, you need to go get top points. No one on my team's getting top points. It's it's already too late. Like, I'm following this guy because the other people are wasting their time. Alright, so he should have this fight. He should absolutely have it. Okay, my instructions are a little all over the place because we're just diving into the middle of it here. Ooh, he's he's low, he's low. <laughs> Even with all my heals, my D was down. Not much I could really do. I can boop him off the point. Use Desperate Prayer on myself. Press Q. As long as I line of sight this guy with the pillar, he can't shoot me. Well, he can shoot me with that. You can't D yourself. See, this is why I recommend the Great Nature Staff, because if I was a Great Nature Staff, I would have been able to hold that point forever. They would have never been able to kill me. And my team, they have zero kills. Like, look, look at this. We got a Camland Mace in Arena? Uh, forge Hammers? These are useless weapons! Shadow Caller's okay, though. And Bow is really good, so... Uh, Raft the Cow. I need to keep that guy healed. Right? He's our chat of the team. Our Camland Mace guy... What's the fucking point, dude? Make sure to heal myself. Now, if I, I'm i below two squares, I'm going to use Desperate Prayer, and I heal a whole bunch. I can keep him alive for a little bit. Why not? Use Desperate Prayer on him. Give him a greater heal. But see, now I'm in danger. This is why I, I don't recommend... This is why I tell people to go Great Nature Staff. It works in a... Re it works. I've proven how much it works countless times. Okay, I'm below. I'm silenced. I can only do so much, man. I can D this guy in half a second. Oop, uh, too slow. Because it has travel time. And these guys are coming for me. I managed to get away. Oh, <laughs> I guess not. Uh, guess not. Listen, this is a really cheap healer build. It only actually works if your team works okay that's the problem and this is why i don't tell people this is why when initially i didn't tell people to go this all right <laughs> like and, and now my team's just afk it's over <laughs> so let me tell you how this would play out if you went great nature okay with the great nature you'd be able to hold the point but you would still have this loser of a team and uh, then they would just be instead of uh, being silent like they are right now they would be like Ugh, stupid healer stupid healer blah, blah, blah. they would just be pinning the blame because that's that's what they're looking for right like, <laughs> all right, so the build again, Generous Heal, Sacred Pulse, and Desperate Prayer. All right, now for the D, you know, your helmet, that's your sacrifice. Like, even with the healer, this guy can't do anything to these two, and they can just run on me. Now, Focused Run, if someone tries to stun you while you do this, they obviously can't. You want to be casting Generous Heal every single time it's off cooldown. 
You want to save Desperate Prayer for when someone is below 40%. You don't have to. Like, I could use it right now on them. It healed for barely anything. It wasn't even really noticeable. You want to use your armor's E ability. Or, I'm sorry, your armor's R ability so that you can stack your heals up. And that will let you heal more harder than normal. See, look, because he's above 40%, it doesn't... The E doesn't heal that much. I could even press D on him. Look, he didn't even stand on the point. He's the tank. Like, we hit, there's still zero kills. Still zero kills. There's a reason I tell people to go great nature. I have videos on it. I, I have a video of me 1v5ing a whole enemy team. And yeah, they're going to focus me and stuff. It doesn't really matter, though. And they're going to focus him. Like, like that curse staff user just used curse death curse on him with three stacks. Look, he's almost, he's almost killing this guy. He's taunting him. He is spinning in place. <laughs> Why is he in an ice block? They're just, they're just trolling. Just go cap the left point. It's over, dude. Um, <laughs> see? <There's, laughs> This is this is the arena that like new players they're gonna watch a guide on how to be a healer, and they're gonna spend a, a shit ton of money on a hallow fall and a robe of purity. That's like half a million right off the bat. What to win some arenas that you'll never do again? Like once you become an established player, you never do arenas. Arenas are a complete waste of time. You can go one arena win is worth one tier five dungeon. That's it. That is it. And as a brand new player, if you can't even do a tier five dungeon yet, sure. Sure, it's well worth it because you get three wins, you're it's easy. Right? Like this he's got two stacks on me. Bro, you you don't hurt me. <laughs> get my mana back, just run around. Like guys, go go watch I, I have a video on my channel called Best Arena Builds. It explains why you should use great nature staff in arena. I know that Redditors really, really hate the fact that you're not being their little heel slut. Okay? I know that. <laughs> Just, oh, okay, come on. Give me below. One more. Yep, that, thank you. And I'll see you later. See you later, bros. Also, this movement ability is super busted. Oh, I'm getting focused. Now, you want to save your big heals, your your Desperate Prayer, like if your, your ally is hurt and you're hurt, don't Desperate Prayer him. Desperate Prayer yourself and use your D ability on him because it's going to heal more and it's instant. <laughs> Should just reshoot this, huh? Now, I could not heal him and end the match. He is, yeah, he's below. Boop. 499. Now, if you have a full stack of your druid robe and you do that, it's going to hit really hard. Let's just go ahead and D this guy. Look how much that healed. 907. See, that's why you want the, the helmet, which... Uh, it's fucking game, dude. Try to get a, an, a real team. Now, the cool thing about solo queuing as healer is you get instant queues, even when the server's about to go down. When, oh, see? Instant queues. Boop! Again. <laughs> <laughs> Please go watch my uh, Great Nature video and don't let Redditors pressure, pressure you or other influencers pressure you that it's bad and you shouldn't do it, okay? There's a reason why you should do it. It's so that you can cap the top points. That's the only reason you should do it. Oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, this is the build. You can also use a Cleric Robe so you have more defense so you can heal yourself a bit. You can also use just a regular one-handed Nature Staff so you can just AoE heal everybody. But that assumes that your team is all to get packed together otherwise it loses value immediately you'll see this in pre-mades but for a, for a solo fast queue like this is extremely cheap besides the cape take off the cape the gear is 16,000 silver 16,000 for this okay and i well i do have the, the omelet so that's another 3k but it, it it's it's su it's super cheap you don't need a hallow fall a hallow fall is like 260,000 the 300,000 and climbing a robe of purity, yeah, you can knock people off the point. Uh, but you won't heal as hard. And uh, that's another 360,000. Like, come on. <laughs> For new players, new players can't afford that unless they freaking buy in. Let's look at our team now. We got Bloodletter, Boltcasters, Chill Howl, and Bear Paws. Look at their team. Albert, uh oh, that's bad. Great Holy, okay. Spirit Hunter, that's bad. Dagger Bear, that's bad. 
See, look, this is a more balanced, this is a better example. So if your team is actually good, then being a good healer to them is worth it, okay? Now, as far as healing goes, you should always be healing. Like, your, your, your healing spell, okay, that guy is almost dead. But see, I got him back up. It's not a problem. I forgot to activate my R. It's fine. I think he still got executed, though. Remember, you should heal yourself over your teammates. Save that guy from burning. Let me desperate prayer you. You're out of range. Come on, just run back for a sec. There you go. Boop him from attacking. Again, you, it's just whack-a-mole with health bars. That's all healing is. See? Got him up just fine. Very nice. See, look, I have a team now that knows what they're doing. In this case, if you're the Great Nature build, then you just heal them anyway. <laughs> and you stack. All you have to do is just stack up. Okay, D him. There we go. Now, I saved his life and I died in the process, and that's somewhat okay. If I had a cleric robe, I'd be alright. Cleric robe's really cheap, too. Uh, in that case, they should be peeling the healer. So, because they're not peeling the healer, get him nice and tapped up. Boop these guys back. I'm being focused. See, this it's easy. Look at that. He is... He is a champ. I have topped him off. This is so efficient healing. Very good. Now, if your teammates don't peel you, which in... Let's face it. They usually won't ever peel you. Because they just want their kill-death ratios to be higher. Then you're, you're a dead healer. Unless you have extreme defensive or a robe of purity. That's why a lot of people say, go robe of purity. I've been healing debuffed. I can outrun this guy. It's fine. Just run out of range, pop myself a little heals, desperate prayer. Now, I am having mana issues because my Limhurst Cape is on cooldown. That's why we use the Limhurst Cape. And then we can heal this guy up just nice and pretty. Boom, he's ready to go. Want to get a little bit more mana. And uh, right now, our team's winning. Our team is actually winning. Now, Calcon is our big Chad of the team, obviously, because he is the Blood Letter player. And let's get him. There's Calcon right there. Get him freaking healed up. Press D on that guy. Get him back in the fight. Stop running. You guys, I'm getting focused a bit here. It's okay. Calcon's down. I'm getting focused. I'm going to boop this guy back. I'm going to desperate prayer this guy because he's low. It's just a big, it's just a big, uh, it's just whack a mole. That's all it is. It's just whack a mole. This guy's still low. Desperate prayer. Boom. Got him. Just saved his life. Just saved his life. That's the dopamine hit. That you get. I'm out of mana. I gotta, I gotta focus run a little bit. I'm just gonna do a little jog. Do a little jog. Now, this is the part where the build's not so good, is when everyone's really low on health and you don't have an AoE heal. That's the part that kind of sucks. Because you just kind of have to slowly greater heal everyone back up. Uh, that's where, like, um, the enemy team's healer has an advantage because they can just throw a circle on the ground. But what I find a lot of the time when you do arenas is that you throw that healing circle on the ground and people don't notice it in time. Uh, if you use the other healing abilities where you have to have a skill shot, people, it gets missed all the time. Alright, so heal him, throw a heal there, toss a heal out to ourselves, boop these guys away. See, you just want to make sure you're using all your cooldowns, you just throw them out, just throw them out. You can't heal everybody. You should mostly try to focus on healing up your Chad. These guys are focusing me, so I gotta back up. Heal my boat caster bro over there, getting focused. He's got his shield up now. Calcon's our big Chad. We gotta make sure to top him up. Top him up as much as we can. Boop these guys. Toss ourselves a heal. Yes, chicken there. Oh, he's he's low. Desperate prayer. Hit him nice and fat, juicy desperate prayer. I'm out of mana though. I am out of mana. But look at the enemies. They're they're getting creamed. They are losing. Okay. Now, this guy's on fire, which means, uh, like, I had to I had to back out of that fight. Well, here, I can just toss all my heals out, get my mana back, and we captured the point. I have 22 assists. Calcon, doing work, man. See, now I have a good killer team, and the enemy team has a good killer team, too, but you know what they don't have? They don't have a good healer. And let's say you want Great Nature Staff. Let's say you took a Great Nature Staff... And, and you're using it in this match instead of Holy Staff. Your heals over time are still pretty damn good. The fact that you cast E on your Chad and your Chad is unkillable during that entire time. 
Just toss him a heal, and then I'm going to run. Uh, looks like we got bottom point. Now, he's getting focused. So, uh, I'm just going to make sure to top him up. I'm going to boop this guy back so he doesn't get any good effects there. Oh, this guy's low. We got to run. Oh, he's dead. I didn't see. I can't. You can't save everyone. It's like a doctor, you know, like a triage. You know that, you know that kind of that thing? You can't save everybody, so don't beat yourself up that someone died. Oh, I'm getting yoinked. I am getting yoinked. That's okay. We can just run away. Just run. It's fine. This guy's over 40. 40%. I'm gonna. I'm about to get focused by the spirit uh, guy. I'm under 40. All right. Let's see who we can D here. Oh, missed him. Missed him. I'm silenced. Pop the heal. I got a desperate prayer for myself. Popped it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're getting focused, though. They're focusing me pretty hard. They're focusing our Calcon. That's our Chad. Keep the Chad comes first. You gotta, you gotta keep your Chad up, man. <laughs> it's okay that this yes, yes chicken guy died because our Chad made it, and our Chad's gonna kill this dude. This guy is absolutely dead. I'm gonna boop him. Let's help him out a bit. This guy's trying to kill me. He's trying to. He can't though. Literally healer. I can weave some autos while I heal myself. Top off my Chad, and uh, there we go. Run to that top point. See what's going on there. It looks like one of my teammates is running away. He's full health. He's good. He's good. He's fine. These guys. What's he? What's he gonna? What's he gonna do? Remember, you always want your your heal to be on cooldown. I am silenced, but that's okay. Crossbow Chad. Getting a little low, that's okay. He's fully healed. Because we are one of the best arena healers here. We have the build. This build is super cheap and highly effective. Now, where's our Chad at? There's our Chad. Remember, Chad gets... Oh, this guy's really low, this yes checking guy. But it's okay. See, look at that. <laughs> It's, it's simple. It's easy. You just click on them, and then you press the Q button, and then they get healed. And I will argue that Great Nature is still better, even if you have a competent team. Even if you have a competent team. But you, you see the contrast from the first match to this one? Just how, how different things are? Alright, I can boop them, but I can't really do much else. See, our Chad came in, saved the day. We're gonna, we're gonna use Focus Run and get to that top point, get our mana back. We have, uh, looks like Yes Chicken is dead, Joker is dead, Top Point is down, so this build can't 1v2 people like Great Nature stuff. This is a situation where Great Nature is actually a better idea. I can still knock him back though and just kind of, just kind of run. I can't use my D on anything. Oh, see, see, Great Nature, I could have stood in that fire and they could do nothing. And I could have chased them off the point with thorns. My, uh, my team was too slow on the uh, realizing the map awareness. But uh, let's look. I've died twice. 32 assists. 9 kills. 13 9 kills. This Joker guy kind of holding back the team with his chill how. Don't know why he's bringing chill out. This, uh, this guy is almost dead. Let's top him up. Look at that. He doesn't even need to go back to base. He is He's already good to go. He's already good to go. That's why this build is supreme, guys. Easy. Easy wins. Here's the build again. You go Holy Staff, everything on the left column. You go Grave Guard Helmet with the Sacrifice. You got the Defensive Buff. You got Druid Robe. You can use a Cleric Robe if you're timid. This thing lets you heal harder, which is the most important thing. You got your Aggression. You already cast really fast, so you don't need the cast speed. You also get cast speed and mana from this. You got Limhurst Cape for the mana issues, Scholar Sandals for the mana issues, and so you cannot be, uh, you're immune to stuns, roots, and slows while it's active. This is very important. Because that's how you kill healers, is you, you, you hold them down and then you just have your way with them, okay? So I'm Soul Benji, thanks for watching. When you're doing your arenas as a new player, use Great Nature Staff. Don't worry about the Redditors, don't worry about the angry people on the forums. Just use this, you can use this build if you're very timid or you have a good team that actually kills people like I did in this second match. As always, be a stay swole, and I'll see you in the next one. Return your shopping cart.